for many Nigerians. The Senate rejection of Ibrahim Agu as EFC chairman amounted to corruption fighting back. They alluded to the many former governors who are in the Senate but are facing charges filed by the Commission. But the Senate is insisting that its action is strictly based on DSS's report. When we selected his confirmation for Thursday, then we had an issue or a letter from the Department of Secur State Security that could not allow us to continue with the confirmation without further clarification. So we now concluded that since we have a letter that we cannot ignore, we cannot continue with the confirmation. So it's not like we have sat down to, t to take a decision that the Senate is rejecting Ibrahim Mabu. I want that to, be, to come out very clearly. I listened, we, we specifically asked the chairman media to issue a statement. What we said is that the Senate on that Thursday could not go ahead with the confirmation of Mr. Ibrahim Mabu because we are in possession of a letter from the Department of State Service which requires clarification from Mr. President who is the principal or the, 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 the head of the government. That I know that we, I am part of the persons that wrote that press, short press uh, uh, statement, which says that the Senate cannot continue with the confirmation. It's different from you say the Senate has rejected. He also spoke on the indictment of the SGF, but argued that he could still defend himself since the report is a preliminary one. I hear, I hear coming from the SGF that he has not been given a free, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the, the hearing is not finished. So he can get an ample of time to go before the committee to clear his, himself. Who are the people that put the corrupt people in the Senate, if we are at all corrupt? The Senate leader also welcomed the president's decision to beam the search light on all government officials who had in recent times been accused of corrupt practices.